Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see how efficiently we can just install TensorFlow on our Windows machine. So let's get started. Just open your web browser. Before uh, installing TensorFlow, we need the prerequisite. That is, we should have Python. So let's download the latest Python version first. Just type in download Python. And just open the first link, that is python.org. And with this, we get this option download the latest version for windows just click it save it on your desired location i'm saving it on desktop only so just click on save it is be getting downloaded yeah so it comes here now open this installer uh don't forget to uh, click on this option as uh if you click on this option it uh, becomes uh, easier for you to not manually adding this path to the environment variable that is a little bit complex task but yeah they are providing this feature so at least you should click on this add python.exe to path only so from anywhere from your system you can just execute python so let's install now setup was successful now let's see if python is correctly installed or not just type in cmd just open it and in that just type in here python minus minus version yeah as you can see it is python is the same version that we downloaded from internet it is 3.11.4 and 3.11.4 so let's try to install tensorflow it. so to install tensorflow what we need is uh, there are two steps uh, by downloading the TensorFlow. First is use, uh, by creating virtual environment, and the second one is uh, directly installing the TensorFlow as it is on global basis. And if you are just downloading the TensorFlow, so there might be version conflicts. It is uh, due to like uh, you have multiple projects which are using TensorFlow. So as the version conflicts, your projects might not run or you will get some error. So it is better to create the virtual environment and to create the virtual environments uh, it is very simple you just need to install uh, virtual env uh, that is the library in python so let's install virtual environment virtual environment is just like uh, all your libraries and all your stuff will be getting downloaded in that virtual environment only and once your work is done you can delete that environment so it will not affect other uh, system dependencies or any python libraries apart from that environment so it becomes very convenient for the developers to develop their code and to create everything as per uh, their requirement and as you all know python is growing day by day so its dependencies create so much conflicts uh, if you are not using correct version properly so therefore it is advice and it's a good practice that you include virtual environments so let's install the virtual environments that uh, comes under pip module only so pip install virtually env as you can see, uh, it has been getting downloaded and it has successfully installed this uh, virtual env. Now let's create the virtual environment. For creating the virtual environment, uh, see, it will be getting created in my local username. So let's change that directory. Just keep it to desktop. And in that, let's create the folder. I can say make directory and the folder name is, uh, let's say tensor and change directory to tensor now we are in tensor directory now let's create the virtual environment here so to create the virtual environment uh the syntax is uh, not that much hard you just have to type it virtually in and the environment name let's keep the environment name as tensorflow only tensorflow so it will create the tensorflow environment in the folder tensor Ah, so tensorflow environment has been created in the folder tensor now let's cross check it yeah as we can see tensor has been created now we need to activate this environment so let's activate the environment to activate the environment it is just like uh, you just type the environment name followed by scripts and after that activate so our environment name is tensorflow so just type in tensorflow tensorflow slash scripts slash activate uh tensor okay tensor just a second what do you tensor so 
tensorflow slash script slash activate tensorflow tensorflow slash script slash activate tensorflow is not recognized uh, just a second let me check yeah the script and just copy this thing and paste it over here paste that actually so here we come send the script and let's come back on direct with the file and yeah let's activate this using script slash activate script is not recognized so forget about that let's comment of the scripts folder only and just type in here activate so as you can see tensorflow is being activated so environment has been created with the name tensorflow and now let's install all the dependencies all the libraries in this so it will be limited to this environment only and all files will be saved here like in the libraries everything will be getting installed and the scripts what all things are there in that and this environment so this is the environment file now let's see uh, we will install tensorflow so to install the tensorflow in the environment let's type in pip install only pip install tensorflow and hit enter As you can see, uh, it is downloading the TensorFlow from the latest version from the net and that is included in PyPy. So it will fetch all the files and it will install. Uh, it is approximately 276 MB. So it is showing the expected time of completion like one minute. So uh, TensorFlow, Tensor, TensorFlow, if we can briefly discuss about TensorFlow in the meantime. So it is a free and open source uh, library, especially used for machine learning and artificial intelligence. It is used to create the models like machine learning models based on supervised learning, unsupervised learning, semi-supervised learning, then the artificial intelligence, the image classification. There are so many applications of machine learning and artificial intelligence from object detection to the uh, object detection, object classification, and there are multi more things like you can create everything you can train the model on various 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 data sets so for that purpose tensorflow is created and it is very efficient let's see yeah yeah it is collecting all the required packages along with that necessary packages it will not take much time uh, just taking the small small additional packages like numpy and all those things that are present present in tensorflow that is used for for data manipulation and data computation and all those things so it has collected this many packages as you can see tensorboard request then the keras and all those things are uh, getting installed yeah, in one go only now it will install all the packages let's see Virtual environment is the best way to create any project and set up any project in that environment. Like uh, you store all the libraries and all to it. So that's why it is a good practice you should follow while just uh, directly installing the things without any environment. So it becomes a bit difficult if you later on come on that project, for example, after six to seven months or so the things are like you don't have the requirements and you directly install and things are upgrading day by day so it becomes a bit difficult here on which version you were working on and what all dependencies were at that time so that's why just make sure you create everything in virtual environment only it is taking bit time but yeah, soon it will finish as it is a heavy package so it uh, take some time so yeah tensorflow has been installed so let's check it whether tensorflow has been installed or not so to check it just uh, type in python after typing on python uh, just import the tensorflow like import tensorflow oh just a second i will just clear the screen 
tls yeah now just type in python and uh, in that let me click enter enter and i will import the tensorflow import tensorflow stf okay so yeah it is not giving me just wait yeah done it is not giving any other now let's see if it is getting means the version uh, what version uh, the tensorflow has been installed so let's print the version so print in that let's mention tf dot underscore underscore version let's close the bracket just type in so as you can see 2.1 2.13.0 the latest version has been downloaded so that's how we saw like a prerequisite to install the tensorflow on windows machine firstly we downloaded python we just click on add to path next next and python was completely uh, installed on our system after that we verified our python uh, whether it was installed or not we typed in pi dot dot uh, pi dot version so after that followed by uh, we check python minus minus version also and after checking the version and all this python was successfully installed Later on, we moved with creating the virtual environment and making the directory. Directory is nothing but just a folder. We created the folder named Tensor. In that, we created the virtual environment using pip install virtual env and we named the virtual environment as TensorFlow. And in that, we installed the TensorFlow. And as you can see, this was our TensorFlow environment. So we created TensorFlow environment and after that, we installed TensorFlow it. And uh, to verify the installation, we just typed in Python. So it opened the interpreter. And in that, we imported the TensorFlow STF and to check whether it was successfully installed and which version it installed. So we tried the version and it was like 2.13.0. So here I conclude this video. So that was the efficient and the best way to download and install TensorFlow to your Windows system. Thank you so much.